Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to go ahead and share with you something that um, a young man that is one of my subscribers, some of you may recognize his name, he heard in the spirit. Let me see how he puts it. Um, of course, we always take everything to the Lord in prayer. And pay attention to how what he says and what he does not say. It's very short. All right. First of all, or first off, it's harder for me to read the green, you know. First off, want to say, I want to say I'm a young 20-something Christian. I have had some visions and utterances of the Spirit before, but this time is unique. And I hope it's okay for me to say, but Chris has had some problems with a lying, deceiving spirit on his back, and I have been working with him for over a year, off and on, you know, not like he writes every day, and, and advising him on what to do about it. Clearly, he has gotten rid of that because then he moved on to start hearing from the Lord. He sought and he received. Okay, I pray that is that I am interpreting this correctly. All right, on the morning, he says this. On the morning of April 12th, I woke up as usual, but while I was still half asleep, as I was waking from my arousal, I heard in my spirit, I heard the words, this week, this week, this week, could it, that's all he heard, could it possibly elude to the week for the rapture or an occurrence of importance in the spirit realm of heaven in the spirit realm of heaven I don't know I am not one who date sets times of biblical importance but I'd say keep an eye out for whatever happens this week. From Chris Chapin. Okay, so he is saying it's something that could be in the spirit realm. And if you're not really in tune to the spirit realm, you might miss it. And think, well, he's just, you know, didn't hear from God. Well, that's what some people said about Edward Umley. And I... And the team I'm on firmly believe that man hears from God. And if something didn't come to pass that you thought was supposed to come to pass, well, it has to mean that what he said meant something other than how you interpreted it. Because we've been looking up his words, and now apparently others have questioned him also. And if you've noticed, Edward Umling now shares his words with his face just in the lower corner so you can pick it apart too and look up the words yourself okay so this could be another similar case he's saying this week this week this week what is this week is this like when edward said december 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 nothing happened in december but we, we put our heads together. Somebody said, hey, December means 10 in Latin. It comes from the Latin word for 10. So we looked up the number 10 and it meant destruction. Destruction, destruction, destruction. Okay, this is April. Still hasn't happened. Does that mean he was a false prophet? No, it means it's coming. Get ready. Get your spiritual self in order. 
get stocked up on food and water in case you survive it and don't get raptured up before it. That's what he's telling you. And maybe the Lord gave Chris this week, this week, this week. Look what's going on with Russia and the Ukraine. They told us we better back off or else. And we told them we can't back off. We have a commitment or how did they, how did I hear it? I read it or heard it in a video. I'm trying to think. Who was it? Lord, help me think. I will, it was, anyway, the long story short or the gist of it was we're going to help Ukraine. Because we're allies with them. You don't turn away from your allies or else when you need help, then they won't be there for you. That's just a part of war, right? All right. So Russia thinks they're going to get us to not be there for the Ukraine. Well, what if they do attack the Ukraine and we... Bomb them. I mean, there you go. There's World War Three. So what's supposed to happen before the war? The rapture. The, the first fruits going outside of time. So, y'all, if you look at it, you've got a lot of tension going on over there in Russia and Ukraine. Why? I don't know. I don't know all the facts. I tend to get lost in really long articles or some that are just like war games and I'm like yeah yeah you said that before and I don't pay him a lot of attention but this could be different could be okay because they had a skirmish before they wanted Ukraine before and they backed off does anybody remember that Russia was going to take Ukraine I don't know, was it a year, two years ago? Time's, time's flying so fast. I can't believe it's 2021 and we're still here. But anyway, I wanted to tell you all that so you can be keeping your eyes open. Um, I don't know if you should on mainstream media, but usually when there's war stuff going on, they will report it. They just won't tell the truth about other stuff. Well, anyway... That's all I have to say about that. I pray you all have a blessed day in the Lord. Keep repenting. Keep staying ready. I am i don't care if, if you just ignored someone in need. You repent of it. Because Jesus said, Whatsoever you do to the least of my brethren, that you do unto me. Likewise, if you refuse to do something to the least of your brethren, you're refusing to do it for me. I don't think it's worded quite like that, but that's what he means, okay? All right, that's just one little example. All right, you all keep looking up. Our redemption draws nigh. It could be this week. Hallelujah. Wouldn't that be great? Talk to you later. Bye for now.